One thing many people don't know is underground here at the George Eastman House is a vault where the Kodak patent collection is held. There, most every camera, even the prototypes ever made are held and will be preserved forever. Reporting at the George Eastman House, Deanna King, News 8. Thanks, Deanna. There's a new book that goes inside the Eastman House collection. It's called 500 Cameras, and it looks at the history of photography, and it is on sale now. It's a great book. For more on the history of cameras, though, here's Katrina Irwin. All right, thank you very much, Maureen. Well, joining us this evening, we have Frank Calandra here, a member of the Photographic Historical Society. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Uh, you know, you were just talking about that book, and uh, you actually could write your own book, and you contributed to that book because you have been collecting these for over 40 years. That's right, for over 40 years, maybe longer than that if you count the, this is the first camera I ever owned. I bought it when I was about uh, 10, 11 years old, wow. and I still have it, and it still works just like all of these Amazing. old relics. If you could put film in them, you could take pictures with them. I imagine they've uh, pretty much become your friends over the years. What was your reaction when you heard the news today? It was kind of sad, uh, although I was not really shocked, but still it is kind of sad because, like I said, my first uh, camera was a Kodak, uh, and Kodak cameras have always meant uh, high quality, dependable pieces. And any one of these I could put film in and, and use. I could take pictures with them now. And you can't say that about too many 100-year-old uh, artifacts. Sure. Uh, let's point out some of the highlights here. I, I know you showed us the first one you got, but what are, what are some of these other ones? Well, this is a brownie uh, box camera, very simple. The shutter uh, is just a simple uh, lever that you uh, move up and down here. Okay. This is a folding Kodak from about 100 years ago. Neat feature is you could mark on the film what the uh, the date or what what the uh, the subject was or oh. whatever, and it would show up on the border of the print. Wow! That was a feature no one else had. This is the one that was their most successful camera ever. The uh, the Instamatic. Everyone remembers the Instamatic. Mm -hmm. You could just drop a plastic uh, cartridge in there. Actually, it was easier to load the film into one of these than it is to put the memory card in your digital camera. And it had a lot of nice features. One being automatic winding. Sure. Again, it still works. Yeah. The style, really, uh, this is from the Art Deco area in the 1930s. <laughs> I can tell. And Kodak hired the best industrial designers available to design these. And, you know, the results were just outstanding. Huh. And again, it takes excellent pictures. Now, I was wondering, since, uh, you know, many of the cameras that are available in stores now, the Kodak cameras, are sort of going to be relics like these. Are you going to go out and stock up on them now? Well, I don't want to admit that out loud, no. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but certainly a lot of people probably will because it'll, it'll be think a piece so. of history. Right, they're probably doing it now, and I won't have any uh, available for me when I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate happy your to do perspective it. on all of this. Maureen, I'm going to send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Katrina. Up next, Kodak.